Did you know that access to a clean, healthful, and sustainable environment is a human right? On October 8, 2021, the Chamber of the United Nations Human Rights Council passed a resolution recognizing that access to a clean, healthy, and sustainable environment is a universal human right. The climate crisis violates this right by harming people around the globe, especially vulnerable populations like children, in devastating ways through rising temperatures, wildfire smoke, droughts, extreme weather events, sea level rise, and deadly floods. A stable climate is necessary to keep ecosystems, land, air, drinking water, and oceans healthy. And failing to protect the natural environment is failing to protect people. Think of it this way, without a safe climate, we cannot protect the essential natural elements that support our very survival as a species. By devastating the natural world, the climate crisis violates not only the recognized human right to a clean, healthy, and sustainable environment, but also every other human right that depends on access to a stable and healthy environment, such as the right to have access to adequate food and shelter. On July 28, 2022, the United States delivered its statement regarding its position on these fundamental rights to the United Nations, stating it's a priority for the United States to, quote, protect the environment, address the climate crisis, stop attacks on environmental defenders around the world, and promote accountability for human rights violations and abuses affecting those defenders. End quote. But as long as the U.S. government continues to support fossil fuel extraction and development, it cannot fulfill this mission. Which is why young Americans are turning to the courts to declare and protect their constitutional rights, protecting those most vulnerable to climate change in America, our youth. In youth-led climate litigation represented and supported by our Children's Trust, including Juliana v. United States, Held v. State of Montana, Navajina F. v. Hawaii Department of Transportation, Natalie R. v. State of Utah, and Layla H. v. Commonwealth of Virginia, young people in the United States are asserting that their legal right to a safe climate is being violated through their government's support and promotion of fossil fuel development. 